Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on the female reproductive system. So if we start with the external genitalia um, and what the parts are called and what they function as, the first one I'll mention is the mons pubis. And that's um, technically uh, superior to the majority of the external genitalia. Uh, usually it looks kind of like a little uh, bulge um, that is somewhat anterior slash superior uh, to the rest of these structures. Uh, the vulva, this is one of the most... Um, misunderstood terms, um, especially because a lot of people refer to the entire female external genitalia as the vagina. That's not true. The vagina is actually the passageway inside of it. The vulva is the term for all of these collective external parts together. Uh, so this is all the vulva. So as I mentioned a second ago, the vagina is actually uh, the interior passageway. Um, talk more about that in a future slide. The vestibule is pretty much like the opening or doorway into the vagina. Uh, this term has come up in other lessons. If you watch the, uh, the lesson on the sense of smell uh, and the nose, um, the vestibule, um, what you breathe into, that's actually the opening into um, like through the nostrils into the nose. So the vestibule is just um, the, the tissue that actually is kind of the doorway into the vagina. The clitoris is um, superior slash slightly anterior uh, to the vaginal opening. And the clitoris is actually analogous to the male penis. So when this particular individual, if she's a female, was developing in the womb, um, hormonal differences is what stimulate the clitoris to not become a penis or vice versa. Um, so typically, yes, it's not as large as a penis, but um, it serves a similar function in the sense that um, it has a lot to do with sexual arousal. And the amount of nerve endings uh, on the, the clitoral region are very similar to the amount of nerve endings in the entire penis on a male. Um, so yeah, during sexual contact, uh, sexual intercourse, the clitoris is going to uh, become erect, going to get engorged with blood flow, and that makes it more sensitive. The... Prepuce is the, um, the the kind of the clitoral hood, and that is analogous to um, the foreskin on a male. Um, it, it covers uh, the clitoris when the clitoris becomes erect. Um, it, it actually um, becomes more obvious uh, from underneath that hood. The labia minora uh, line the uh, vaginal opening, and then the labia majora uh, are on the outside of the labia minora. Uh, these areas, the labia, are analogous to the scrotum on a male. So if this particular individual had become a male, um, the gonads, which on a female are going to be internal, would have been stimulated to come down here and end up in the scrotal sac. Uh, but on a female, uh, the labia um, serve a similar function in the sense that they are also very sensitive and they get, um, you know, engorged with blood, blood flow and, you know, become more sensitive during sexual intercourse. But of course, they're not holding gonads. Urethra. The urethra is technically a part of the urinary system, but we got to mention it because it's right in this area. So you see right here, it says external urethral orifice. An orifice is just a, a body hole uh, opening into the outside or coming into the body. And um, that is actually very close to uh, the vagina, but uh, a different passageway. And urine is going to come out of that, of course. And then the vestibular glands. The vestibular glands um, lining um, the vaginal region um, keep the opening of the vagina moist and keep the vagina itself moist. And the vestibular glands are going to make um, more secretions uh, during arousal and during sexual intercourse. When we look internally at the reproductive organs, yes, the vagina is technically internal because it's the passageway from the opening in the vulva all the way up to the uterus. The uterus, also known as the womb, uh, has a few different parts. One of them is the cervix. So the cervix is labeled here as a separate structure, but uh, technically it's uh, the most inferior part of the uterus, kind of the uh, the, the doorway uh, into or out of the uterus. The fallopian tubes have a few other names. I'll mention those later. Those connect the uterus to the ovaries, and the ovaries are the egg producers. Those make the ova, just like um, testes or testicles in a man would make sperm. <laughs> 